go down Moses Way down in Egypt land Tell old Pharaoh To let my people First of all, sometimes when I be honest when they say homeless, everybody ain't homeless down here. Right. Quite a few people have places that they stay at. Now, right. for me personally, I got a place that I'm staying at, we're walking toward. Right. Now, some people uh, stay on the street, but I really don't consider them homeless because you got some people who sleep on the sidewalk and build a little tent. Right. To me, they, I mean, we, I know we use the word homeless, but I don't hear it being homeless. I mean, it just I mean, that, that is their home. There are certain blocks where you can go down and you can see people uh, Lining the streets of cardboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, that, you know, they call them cardboard condos. They I mean, that's, that, that's what we call them. I'm just giving you the straight. We call them condos. cardboard condos. And a lot of people going to see this and not understand how somebody, you know what I'm saying, as deep as a, you know, intelligent black man as you are, ended up in the situation that you're in. That would be wise of them to figure, do they really know the situation I'm in? Right. I mean, you know, like I say, there are a lot of people that are down here and there, according to popular belief, no reason to be down here. Right. But I find that human, do, human beings do very little things without reason. I mean, there's a reason, it may not make sense. Yeah. But that's a reason. And you know, as long as it makes sense to them, they have justification. If, if you know, if I believe that hitting my head against the wall helps. Helps get rid of a headache. Yeah, you know, whatever. You know, uh, you know it's, I'm not a psychiatrist. I haven't been trained formally in uh, sociology or anything. So I don't, you know, I've read a lot, but what they do, uh, it would take an army of psychiatrists and psychologists for the next 10 years to study this to come up with a name for the solution. Right. Or well, excuse me, a name for the problem, let alone the solution. There may be something they can do. I refuse to believe that so many smart people, much smarter than myself, can be assembled in one place and knowing the problem and not come up with a solution that works better than this. A, a, a sort of coexistence with terror so they will give you uh, what I call the white man's cure for everything they'll throw money at the problem right so they give you a GR they get little cheap spots for you and all that kind of stuff but they bring food down on Saturday and Sunday right and what that does to a lot of people is what they call in the programs right. and, and enables It makes them more dependent yeah, it makes on the them system. More dependent on the system. Now, I ain't got to do nothing. I ain't gonna sit in and dollar man gonna come and give me a dollar, come and hand me a pizza pie, and you know, it gets uh, to the point that it's uh, 
it becomes addicting as a drug addicting. Right. I mean, as far as like the level of violence out here, man, I mean, it's like, you know what I'm saying? You it's hear not, in the not, midst of it every day. It's not as permanent, but it happens every day. Somebody right. gets hit in the head with something every day. But as far as death and murder and rape and all that. All that see? happens every day. All that happens every day. Every day. So, I mean, how much of an of a, of a issue is that to you? I mean, as far as well, you... Well, it's, it's fine me being a human being. I care. Right. I don't particularly allow it to happen around me as much power or as little power as I may have at any given time. Yeah. Um, I never am part of those things. I mean, I'm not saying that I would not but, I get mean, you in the head with a two Are you concerned for your safety? No. I mean, that's <laughs> what I'm that saying. Is, uh, well, I've been in... I grew up in, in Chicago and I had to be with project. Okay. Which has sort of the same view of life. Yeah. And uh, in a lot of ways, the same movement. Yeah. It's, it's uh, being urban. A uh, black urban, I think, automatically makes you some sort of a warrior. What percentage of the population out here would you say is uh, uh, black? Let's let's say black men. Compared to I would say the majority. majority. I, I would say I, I, I just leave. I, I can't give you no percentage. I don't want to go with numbers. I can, but I say the majority. to get a little something to eat and hopefully get a place to get out the cold at night. Being homeless don't mean just because you don't have a home that you don't have a heart. You have to still care about people and care about yourself. Like saying, like I'm standing on the streets now, I would see other races help me quicker than my own race would. And uh, that's one negative aspect of black. To me, I'm not saying all black culture, but from what I perceive and see, especially with black men is that we don't have enough unity with each other to say, hey brother, let me help you up and try to show you a way to get yourself together instead of turning your head, your nose up and saying, I don't want nothing to do with it. from something, trying to find something, ain't got a damn clue, and uh, pretty much put themselves in a very dangerous situation. If you do not believe in Satan, and you do not believe in God, if you do not believe in good and evil, come to Skid Row and you will see the line dramatically drawn. Hmm. It's Broadway. Broadway is the light. Once you pass Main Street, you're in the dark. People up in them buildings up there are one paycheck away from being homeless. Exactly. A lot of us are. Right. So, you know. I mean, this could be anybody out this here. This could be anybody. 